gonna be doing a little cleaning of my main area, some dusting, wiping a few things down, and then um, I'll be cleaning the bathroom today too. So I follow a daily, weekly cleaning schedule. I put that out years ago, but um, it's just something I like to follow. It helps me not feel overwhelmed when it comes to one day and I feel like I need to clean the whole house. But I'm excited too, because I'm collaborating with my good friend Hillary at Old World Home. She is gonna be sharing a day in the life too with her kiddos and some cleaning. And she has put out a Christmas 2022 planner, which has her daily, weekly cleaning schedule in it. Now I do my own, but she has a great, wonderful, detailed planner in, or plan in her planner that I highly recommend. So she is going to be sharing what she is cleaning on this particular day. And so I hope if you are watching hers and you come over to mine, you get inspiration from us to just conquer one area at a time, to enjoy the days with your kids, and to just get done what you can. So Hillary and I are hopefully going to be inspiring you today with our vlogs. Of course, she is doing Vlogtober, so she's got a vlog every day in October. And we're just gonna be doing what we do as moms, wives, and homemakers. So let's keep doing our little tasks and playing with our kids. And For my cleaning checklist for the living area, I try to dust any flat surface, any screen TV, any side table, window trim, my clock that's up there. I will dust my shiplap wall every once in a while because dust gets in between each board. Every about once a month or so, I'll wipe the walls with a Swiffer to get the cobwebs down. I'll wipe off lamps. I'll make sure just that things are looking more dust free and this time of year living close to a gravel road and with lots of trucks it just gets dusty more often then i'll also just wipe down baseboards the air vents i do vacuum the furniture probably every other week we don't allow our kids to eat on the furniture or color so it doesn't always get grimy in that way but there's always little dust bunnies underneath the cushions that are good to get vacuumed up. So really it's just kind of the basis in the list I gave you there at the beginning and always dusting my black piano seems to be a thing especially when girls have grimy fingers and they like to play on it but every little surface needs a good wiping. Well, Nevaeh and I are gonna make some banana bread muffins or banana bread, one of the two. I got, we got most of the living room, dining room area cleaned. I always try to dust um, baseboards, any surface and get all that done and do the vacuuming of course. And then every once in a while I'll do the light fixtures up top because we have some glass. I didn't show you that this time. But um, yeah, so we're gonna make some banana bread with some overripe bananas that we have and I already did my morning routine and everything like that. I didn't show you that because I have my 5.30 a.m. morning routine video out for you if you're interested in that. But we're gonna do this and my youngest Nadia is down for a short nap. I have her do a short nap in the morning because she's still really tired and then she does a longer nap in the afternoon. But we're gonna continue baking here and then um, eat a snack and just continue life and I still got to figure out supper this week was bad with meal planning I usually try to meal plan um, at the beginning on Sunday nights but there's just been other things that have been preoccupying my mind and body and things like that lately that have kind of distracted me from planning so I um, will figure that out and share that meal with you later today of course so let's make some banana bread muffins
of course on this day that I'm choosing to bring you along. My oldest is choosing not to nap, so she's gonna have a little quiet time. It took a while for Nadia to go to sleep too, so um, I'm just gonna relax a little bit and I was gonna hopefully clean the bathroom, but that may not happen during nap time. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings. We had done lunch, we just played outside for a little bit, and so didn't really film a whole lot for the last couple of hours, but so is life when you've got little ones and things don't always go as you expect. One thing that never fails me every day is always a stack of laundry. So I'm gonna work on that. The girls are still napping, which is great, and I even got a nap in. So this is a tall pile of laundry to get through. Okay, so I've decided on fish for supper. I don't do fish a lot, but we're gonna do tilapia because it's thawed super easy. So, and just do this all recipes recipe that I found. It just has fish in a baking dish with like frozen veg on top, and then I'm gonna do rice for the sides. So that'll be really easy to do. The girls are awake finally, so they slept for so long, but it was okay. They must have needed the rest. So I'm gonna get started on that, and then we might be outside for a little bit. It's awfully windy, but it's really nice day. It's mid 70s, so we need to get some fresh air. side of quinoa to go with it. So I'm ending up here in the bathroom. It is a few days later. We ended up having a sick one who had to use the bathroom that evening a lot and so I did not worry about cleaning it that night because it was getting used too often. So I just will walk you through a little bit of what I do to clean my bathroom. So I always wipe down the mirrors, I'll wipe down the walls, like especially by the toilet, just because you got little ones, you got a husband, if you have boys, you should wipe the walls for sure. Our bathroom is very, very small. So definitely wipe down even some of the walls behind the toilet, down low. I will do like the sink area, use a little toothbrush around like the little faucet handle and all of that. Um, I'll dust like the lights, um, if we have a clock in here, some of the shelves we might have over here. I'll wash the liner for the shower. That is not weekly, that's, you know, hit and miss sometimes. Clean the shower with Barkeeper's Friend and a magic eraser. And then I just use like an all-purpose cleaner for the toilet, for the floors, and wash the rug. So really that's about the basis of the bathroom cleaning. So it is a well-used place. I mean, the bathroom is used by everybody in the house as long as, long as they're potty trained every day, several times a day. So I wipe it down every day, just the surfacey area. And I think that's important because if we have people randomly show up, I don't want um, potty all over the toilet or uh, sticky fingers all over the sink, things like that. So I do try to just keep a maintained bathroom. Even if it's a small space, it's a space that we're going to redo. I don't want to have it looking grimy and gross. So that is my checklist for the bathroom of what I do. So, like I said, it is a different day. I didn't get to finish filming that evening as we ended up with sick little ones and I didn't get to finish up this vlog. But I hope you are encouraged to do a little cleaning, maybe make your own cleaning checklist for different areas of your home for each day. Follow Hillary's. Um, I can try to find the video I did of my weekly cleaning routine a couple years ago or a year and a half ago. I know I was pregnant at that time with either my second or first. So 
um, a couple years ago I did that. But anyways, check out Hillary's channel if you haven't. And thanks for coming over from hers if you are new. I would appreciate you joining my YouTube community here by subscribing. I do videos like these. I do homemaking, motherhood, thrifting, and simple living. So I will be talking with you in my next video.